Hello Scorpios, welcome to Cheeky Spiritual Guide. This is going to be your weekly love reading for June 6th through the 12th. Um, yeah, we're going to take a look at the person you're involved with. Yeah, swim around in their energy a little bit um, and get you some clarity, some understanding. Whatever you're seeking, hopefully I can answer that for you this week. All right, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you. I hope you guys are doing well. Life is good to you and you are good to life. All right, spirit. What can you let's what can you tell Scorpio about the person they're involved with or the person who's on their heart and on their mind? So, Scorp, whoever's on your heart and on your mind, this reading could be for you. Okay, one more shuffle. underlying energy here is the ace of cups this is new love you're dealing with a new love um could be the start of something very beautiful very emotionally fulfilling and abundant just a whole cup of awesomeness this is a like a wine glass full of just beautiful flowing emotional goodness <laughs> okay so what does scorpio need to know about the person on their heart and on their mind Okay, Queen of Swords, that could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, why? Uh-oh, that was not reverse. Putting in the work, putting in the energy. This person is working on something, dedicating their time to it. Okay, oh, with you, with you, perhaps, Scorpio. What is the energy of the Queen of Swords? Page of Swords. A lot of truthful speaking energy. Um, this person may just be kind of collaborating with you. Maybe you guys are interacting in, on a casual level, maybe non sexual, more like um, just like friends. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, tell me more about this spirit. Oh, the Ten of Wands. But who is feeling burdened? You are, they are. Why the Ten of Wands? Too much to go. Oh, the Five of Swords. Okay. There, well, someone's definitely feeling defeated, feeling burdened. Um, like this situation is not a win for me. That's interesting. Clarify the page of swords. Okay. Um, the Knight of Pentacles. Maybe it took this person some time. Some very slow moving energy. But it's like they finally. They're interacting. I feel like someone's finally interacting. But I don't know if this is what you want Scorpio. Because um, you feel so defeated. But here it feels like very just nice and casual connection happening. Why does Scorpio feel like, or who feels this way? Why does this person feel this way? Oh, the Seven of Cups. Maybe this is you. Are you confused? Because I feel like this person is coming at you, sharing some type of thoughts. It's truthful, right? There's honesty here. And it's not always like soft and pleasant. Like there may be some harshness to it, like sh very cutthroat, straight to the point. And not in a mean, it doesn't, I mean, it could be in a mean way. If that's your situation, take it out, it resonates. But I'm kind of getting more like a straightforward thing feels. I don't know, you may be confused, right? Why? Oh, like maybe you're not sure. And so you're like holding yourself back with this person's intentions. We'll ask what their intentions are. Clarify. What's the energy of the three of coin? Oh, the three of swords reverse. I mean, so this is, ooh. 
healing a situation, getting back together. Is this what they're trying to do? Get back together? What's the energy of the King of Cups with you? Get back together with you, Scorpio. What is the energy of the King of Cups? Oh, yes. Look at that. The Six of Pentacles with the Six of Wands. It's definitely an equal give and, sh equal give and take sharing their energy with you. Um, I feel like it took this person a while to come around. So what do you need to know? Like they want to, you know, accomplish something here. It feels like they're working on it. It's not like super hard, whole lot of effort, but I feel like they're doing more talking than action. So what is this? What are their intentions? What? What are this person's intentions for Scorpio? What are their intentions for my Scorpios, please, Spirit? What are their intentions for my Scorpio, please? Ooh, okay, I'm not taking these, but I will take this. What? Well, shut the front door. Look at that. The Hierophant, okay, a commitment, coming together, being maybe something, uh, if it's not marriage, it could be like something traditional, like a, a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship, you know, that involves commitment. Why the hermit, though? Are they trying to figure out how to do this, using their inner strength, trying to be, trying to go within? Why the hermit? Okay, maybe they want to be commitment, but like maybe not marriage, all right? Or to be with you, but not like get married. This could be like a withdrawn energy, kind of like they like being solo um, as well as being in a commitment. What's the energy of the hero part? The Ace of Wands, I would say so. Starting that new beginning, that solid beginning with you. Building it, when I get the Ace of Wands, I get building it the way you want it. Building it, putting it together how you desire it, okay? Even though the Hierophant is here is very traditional, they're set ways, but when it's accompanied with the Ace of Wands, it feels like we're gonna do this how I want it to, how we want to do it. Maybe how I want to do it, but <laughs> how we want to do it. What's the energy of the hermit? But this is like keeping themselves the five of swords. So that was their energy in the first spread. I don't think this person feels like they can do commitments or marriage. Like they they may have a fear that it won't work. What's the energy of the emperor? The four of swords in the reverse, I'll say. So if you guys have not been um, connected, if you've been separate and apart, this person is giving me um, wanting to come out of that separation, maybe renew like how you guys would get down if that's talking on the phone, seeing each other regularly. That's what I'm getting. This person wants to see you regularly. They want to renew this activity or your routine, or you get what I'm saying? Uh-oh, what is this? Um, all right, that's their intention. So what can Scorpio expect to happen next here? What can Scorpio to have? What can Scorpio expect to happen next here with this individual, this person? They're, they're on their heart, on their mind. All right, a lot of major arcana. So there could be some really, some big, big changes for you guys, okay? Um, big changes, maybe things you don't expect, all right? I see evolution, I see growth, I see progress progressing forward um this high priestess though what's the energy of the high priestess 
Oh, the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups. Happily ever after. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like when the High Priestess comes out like that. Why the Ten of Cups? Oh no, the King of Swords in the reverse. If your intuition starts speaking to you, Scorpio, listen, okay? Listen to it. Pay attention to it. Because I feel like this is saying, hey, you're going to get, your intuition is going to let you know about this person. Because I feel like mm, if you want, again, I, if you want to get married, I don't think this person wants to. And they will hold their ground. Like I'm getting stubborn vibes here. For sure. Stubborn energy, big time. What is the energy of the tower? The king of cups. Something you don't expect suddenly happens. What's the energy of the empress? Or are you going to do something? Whoa. I feel like you're going to do something. Maybe... You're, it's going to surprise you that you do. And this person as well. Like, wow, that's not usually like you, Scorpio. You like put me in my place. You said something. You walked away. What is this thing, spirit? What is this? What is this thing with, ta with the tower? What is this thing with the tower? Thank you. Oh, the Hierophant again. Okay. What is this thing with the Empress, though? Growth, evolution, development. Oh, the Six of Cups. Okay, is somebody going to get pregnant and have a baby? That could be it because we have the Empress with the Six of Cups. Um, Why the King of Cups? The Hanging Man. So are you going to get together with this person? But I kind of see you in suspense here. Like, what do you think? You're thinking of something. You're trying to understand something. Why the hermit? The nine of wands with the ace of cups. I think this person is your ex and I think you guys are going to start a brand new relationship. Um, I think this feels like a reunion. You guys are going to get back together, but this person doesn't want marriage. Just, just know that. Okay. Let's get your advice. I see you thinking about it. I see you like trying to make sense of it. Like, why don't you want to be married to me? Um, this person doesn't be believe marriage is um, can be accomplished or could be a victory. Okay. So what advice do you have for Scorpio regarding this situation? What advice do you have for Scorpio? Knight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles... The Knight of Wands, three, I mean, sorry, the Queen of Pentacles. Um, with the Knight of Wands, I feel like there's something you should take a risk on. Let's see, the Queen of Pentacles as well. Uh, cl clarify the Knight of Wands as advice. The death in the reverse. Maybe there's maybe you're you're not moving, you're not taking risks. Some of you Scorpios. Why the death reverse? And spirit is saying, go for something. Why the death in reverse? The four of cups. I don't think you're feeling it, that's why. I mean I feel like if you were more inspired or motivated or excited, 
I think you would, but I don't. I think the reason why you're not going after something, whether it's this relationship or a job or something, I don't know. Um, it's because you don't feel inspired. Clarify this Queen of Pentacles as advice. Oh, the moon. Um, why the moon? Pisces energy. Okay, we're not taking these, but we will take this. There's the emperor. Make sure you're, you're adhering to your values. Stick to your values. I feel like the queen of pentacles would do that. You know, any of the, the pentacle, the king or the queen, adhere to their values, their morals. They are reliable people. They're steadfast. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like there's something here you don't know. There's something here you can't see it. It's the energy of the moon. Oh. There's a king of cups. Oh, the person that you're with. I, look, I keep seeing that. I don't think they want a, com a, a, a commitment. <laughs> so you guys get back together and everything's all great, but that it won't. It doesn't go past boyfriend and girlfriend. I mean, even even if it goes there, they may just want to be involved. But they have the hierophant, so there's something traditional. There's something that they want, like routine. When I get that too. It means routine, like we talk to each other, we see each other, we sleep with each other. You know, we do, we celebrate each other's birthdays, but we don't have either a title or we don't have um, a commitment and we're definitely not getting married. So the Queen of Pentacles is telling you, stick to your values. If you want marriage, if you want commitment, if you don't wanna be just someone's routine buddy, then <laughs> let them know and shut it down, okay? But I just want to get one more card. What's the energy of the Knight of Wands? What's the energy? The Page of Swords, reverse. Yeah, you, Scorpio, if you're not telling this person what you want, this is you telling them what you want. You have to risk it. I think this is a risk for some of you. You have to say... I want marriage, period, the end. It is a risk you have to take because this is your values. This is your, your desire. This is what you want. And Spirit is saying, I don't think you're really doing that. Okay? Because the, the page of Swords Reverse is telling me that you're keeping something to yourself. You're not even communicating this. And when I get the Ace of Wands, it's like what you desire, what you wish and hope for that thing you know you want to build yeah don't no. no 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 all right scorpio i'm gonna leave it here you guys i hope this was helpful good luck and love don't forget to like comment subscribe and um i will see you guys next time oh, deuces